Shalom. Coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kakodash, to be honest to the apostles of the Great Millstone, and to hopefully like pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Uh, this lesson is gonna be titled Health Equals Wealth. Right? It's gonna be a quick one, but an important one nonetheless. Now, obviously, these um decrepit bodies that we have, you know, Yahweh Ratza were part of that. That number, the elect, you know, the hopeful elect, um, these bodies are going to be de uh, destroyed. They're going to be changed, right? So, you know, it's like buying a car that's just like a car, a beater car. If that's the uh, right term. A car that you know, like, it's, it's just for a period of time. You know, you don't really care that it doesn't look nice or, you know, it, it's going to be destroyed, right? You're going to get a new one. This is just for a period of time. Same thing with these bodies. Right, it is just for a period of time, you know. Yahweh Rath is a one of that number, right? Probably gonna be changed, but at the same time, you still need that car to get to a uh, point A and point B. So, like for me, it's just like I'm still gonna take care of that car to the best of my ability because I still need it. I'm still using it, right? Everyone, every brother's different. Some people don't care about that, and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that either. Um, but I'm just talking about this aspect, right? Hence why it's called health equals wealth. Um, Ecclesiastes 30 and 14. Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body, right? So like, it's better to be poor. <laughs> but be sound in like your constitution, your morals, your mind, right? I mean, sound also means grounded. A rich man that's afflicted in his body. So it's better than being a rich man who has all the money in the world, but has a decrepit body, right? That's a, that tells you that the body is important to a certain degree, right? Because being sick all the time, being in pain, you know, not being able to do certain things that you want to do, right? It's not, it's, it's, it's uh, suffering. And we are here to suffer, that's for sure, you know, because these are chains, chains of darkness, but... I mean, if you're willingly doing it, that's a different story. I mean, you shouldn't be doing that. You know, you should. If there's things you can do, then you should do them. Right? If there's things you can't do, then you, don't, you, know, you can't do them. Right? So if you're someone that knows about certain things about the body, about, you know, taking care of yourself and everything like that, then you should be doing those things. Because you have to remember, someone, the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai gave you that information to use it. Right? And if you don't know about those things, that's, that's fine. That's a different story. If you don't know about them or if you don't even care about them, right? Because our scripture also goes, the man's goings of the Lord's, how shall he know his way? Roughly paraphrasing. So that means the most I is telling you, you're not, he's not putting the spirit on you to do those things, right? Um, health and good estate of body are above all gold. That's why like athletes, everyone praises athletes in a sense. They're kind of like the pinnacle of health because they take care of their bodies. Their bodies are like the, the creme de la creme, Right? And I can speak from experience because I was a professional athlete. Um, you know, having a, I, I would never trade, tra uh, slack. I would never trade my body for all the money in the world. I would never do it because I can be poor, but have a good body that functions properly, that runs properly. That's way better than having all the money in the world. Because at the end of the day, I still live in this body. You know, I'm a spirit trapped in this body. Me being rich, sure, you can buy things. But it doesn't. It won't change the fact that your body is slow. The body is decrepit. Your, you know, your your joints hurt. You know, you you run out of breath going up the stairs, right? You have all these diseases like sickle cell anemia, all this other infl inflammation in the body, right? You might have a bunch of money, but you can't fix those problems, right? So that's why it says health and gold, uh, good estate of body are above all gold, and a strong body above infinite wealth, right? There is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart, which is the mind. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. Yeah, wow. Right? Which tells you that these bodies are a chains of darkness. Because even like for someone like me that has I'm in pretty good shape, the body's still decrepit, right? You know, Esau still puts things in the air and the food. That makes your body break down, right? So the, the upkeep of your body, you have to put a lot of your body to, to maintain it, 
right? If you're, if you're in a position to do that, then you might as well go right ahead. If you're not, then you can't do that, right? And at the end of the day, these bodies are going to be uh, destroyed anyways, right? A cheerful and good heart, this is verse 25, a cheerful and good heart will have a, will have a care of his meat and diet, right? So a good heart means good mind. So you will care for those things. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that um, if you're not like some like fitness fanatic that, you know, that means you're not a good person. No, it's not what you're saying. But, you know, you will watch what you eat to a certain degree. You're not going to be gluttonous. You know, you shouldn't be like that. You have to take care of yourself because that's also the, a, a sense of um, being off balance. And, and being off balance is abomination to the Lord. Right, so Genesis 2 and um, we're going to start at <clears throat> I'm going to check I'm just going to go into something real quick Okay, Genesis 2 and 5 And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord Yahweh hath not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground Right? So I just want to talk about it with the herbs, right? Herbs are not some like, they were there from the beginning. So the most I put them in the ground. They were there. So herbs are good for you. Herbs heal the body. Herbs take care of the body. Um, Genesis 9. And we are going to go start at... Lucky. I'm just looking for the spot. I mean, it's not the right one. Okay, there we go. Slakia. Uh, Genesis 9 and 3. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as a green herb have I given you all things. So, so the most high, that shows you that so called vegans, right, they're kind of half right because you are supposed to eat meat too, also. The most high ordained it. Doesn't mean if you choose to eat meat, you're bad. Right, you like I've been a vegan before, and you pretty you feel pretty good, but you're still missing things that you can't get from uh, plants that you can only get from meat, like animals. Right, that's why everything's about balance. You have to have both, right? But that's the thing. Sometimes people eat too much meat, and then they have to balance themselves out and start getting more greens, right? So people that call themselves carnivores, I mean, that's not healthy, right? Our, these bodies are not designed to be like that. At one point, we were just eating plants, but then the most high ordained, you know, to eat animals and everything like that. Um, but the point of why I read that is the pa uh, the point of the the herbs, right? So herbs he heal the body and uh, keep you healthy. Exodus 12 and 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs, they shall eat, right? So herbs, now things that are bitter are are good for you. They're usually good for you. I would say almost all the time they're good for you. Um, even the scriptures, we're going to talk about that. It's bitter in the mouth, but sweet in the belly. Or vice versa, right? Sweeter in the mouth, but bitter in the belly. Because right, first when you get this truth, it's sweet. It tastes good. Oh, I'm an Israelite. Everything's great. But then when you start to keep digesting it, it starts to get that bitter part of the, the truth. You know, you can't do this anymore. You can't do that anymore. Blah, blah, blah. You can't eat all this stuff, right? But it's actually things that are good for you, right? It might be bitter, but it's still good for you, right? So just like herbs, right? Herbs are bitter, but they're good for you because they heal the body. 
they clean out everything. They they reduce inflammation. Um, they help with your testosterone, your your hormones, right? So that's part of uh, health, you know, because like we just read, um, you know, it's better to have a, a good body than all the money in the world. Roughly, roughly paraphrasing. So Romans 14 and 2. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. So when you're weak and sick, you need to eat herbs. You know, herbs, um, some alkaline water, distilled water, spring water. You know, drink the water. A fruits and vegetables. That's about it. I wouldn't really suggest to eat meat at that time because your body needs to repair itself. But the point is that Herbs is something you eat when you're when you're weak. So these are things you can do to um, you know keep yourself healthy. And outside of that, it's praying to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Fasting is another thing too, right? Fasting back in those times is a normal thing, right? It was just normal. Now you have things called intermittent fasting, you know, uh, a twenty four hour fast, a dry fast, all these things, right? Because it gives your body time to repair itself and clean out all the gunk and junk that you've been consuming from this uh, decrepit planet that we live in. All the foods and all the hidden addit- additives in the foods, right? And preservatives, right? So that's the point of that. I just want to talk about that a little bit and, you know, to show you that it is important to take care of your body. Even though these bodies are going to be destroyed, you know, how Ratazov, you are one of those elect, you still need to take care of it to the best of your ability. Right, you can't just you can't just let it go like that, right? Right. So, hope this lesson was edifying to the whole elect. I like to close out by saying, "Ka halag Yahweh, ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, ba Hashem Rakakwadash." Double honors to the apostles, Great Millstone, and to the whole elect, pushing His word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to His wicked kingdom, and to two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shalom.